We've had this hunk of styrofoam jammed up in our AC here for about a year and a half, almost two years now, season and a half it's been. And this was something that was supposed to change our world and make our air conditioner work like no one's ever seen and do all these great things. Does it really live up to the hype? Stay tuned and find out. Hey guys, Big Dan Bates from Bates Photography, RVing, gardening adventures, you name it, we do it. Anyway, uh, it's that time of year, we're opening up the camper, and I really wanted to talk about, specifically, my thoughts on the RV Airflow system. So, as many of you may know, uh, a couple, maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago now, it's been, uh, I, I spoke to them, and well, they reached out to me, whatever, and we decided to become partners. And I am an RV Airflow affiliate. Uh, I installed the block in here. You can see the whole install video right here. If you want to check that out, as well as the measuring video, I'll link them both. And we put it in, and I wanted to really today to talk about, you know, a year in what we really think type of video. So let me first start by saying, uh, I think it's a great innovative product. I believe it is uh, a truly an ingenious design, and it's, it's made in America. It really has changed the way I use my AC. And it, to my wife's dismay, it definitely is much more efficient, much stronger blowing out. Uh, in the link or in the, in the description, I'll put a link to the chart of our personal results before and after I measured each of the air vents. Um, I believe there's actually a video, a whole video for that as well. Um, it really made drastic changes in the way our AC works. It's more efficient. The airflow, um, it's the same amount of air being pushed. It's the same fan, but because it's now directed air and not a static pressure that has to find somewhere to go, the, the amount of air, the volume of air coming out of each vent is greatly increased. I absolutely love it. But uh, before we get into much more of that, I want to first start with where I, where I feel it falls short, and it's not the product's fault, it's the nature of the design. One of the things that I like to do when we first get to a campground and set up is I would come in, get everything locked down, set up, turn that AC on, and I would open up the main dump. You open up these slots here, and that opens us up, and all of the AC is dumping directly into your main living space. And it will very quickly cool down the main area of the camper. We go to dinner or out to lunch, depending on what time of day it is. Because you know us, everything revolves around food. Uh, we'd come back, and then I would close these, which would then create that static pressure, which would force the air to the other parts of the, AC, of the RV. When you install this block, it completely blocks this off. That is no longer an option. I would not use that as a con. It, it's a, it, was, it was a little bit of a con for me because it kind of disrupted my routine. I liked it dumping heavy right into this area while I was working and setting up. But because the unit works so efficiently and because it's, you have such increased airflow to all the vents around it, you're cooling the whole camper probably in a similar time frame as when you were just using the dump. So in the end, it's not a con, but my first pet peeve to that after installing it was, oh wait, I've lost my dump. After now a season and a half of using it, uh, I found it really doesn't matter. It, it's so efficient with moving the air that by the time we come back from dinner, the whole camper is cold. Um, so that was the only fault. The only other issue I found with it and you can, you'll see this in the install video, because they're so precisely made and because campers aren't really assembled with the greatest of care, I did have to do some housekeeping. So once I took everything out, I had to trim some excess leather. I had to hammer in uh, some staples that weren't fully seated because they would not let, those things would not let the block slide in because it has to be a snug fit. Um, I had to tape up some openings in the duct spaces and all. But once I did all that, and that has nothing to do with the RV airflow, that's more of a problem with camper construction. 
but it's just in order to use the product, I had to go through those extra steps and do my due diligence and make sure everything was sealed so that the product would work better. Now, again, that is not the product's fault. That is the carelessness, even in a grand design, who still has that little bit of edge with quality. Uh, you know, some things they just pop, 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 and may move on to the next thing. They don't pay attention. The staple didn't go all the way in, or the the the, the membrane was folded funny. They just boom, and on to the next one. So I did feel I had to do a, some extra work to get the product installed. Uh, not the product's fault. The product is the product. And it has to be the way it is in order to work properly. So that was really the only two cons. And really, neither, neither one of them ended up being cons that had anything to do with the product. It was more, one, I'm a, I'm a stickler for routine. And the other was, it's just construction issues. On to the pros of this, um, super increased airflow. Some of the ladies out there may not like it because now they're sitting on the couch and they actually feel the air blowing across them. So that's a matter of, you know, adjusting your vents. But, you know, my wife tends to, to feel the breezes and now she's cold. Can we turn the AC up? You know, but it's a major increase to airflow. Um, significant. Again, you can see it in the results. I'll link that in the description. Um, major increase to efficiency. I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I went and I bought the an anemometer or whatever to test the air speeds coming out of here, the volume coming out of here. I have my amp probe and the, doing the amp draw to see if the amp draw changed. And as I was shocked to find it did slightly run a little more efficiently. So the amp and all was showing, uh, running a little less straining on the electrical system, things like that. Um, cool down time. Uh, when I get to a campground, before I turn this on, I'll check that temperature or what it reads. Flip on the AC. Uh, if we are running out, I'll, as soon as I get back, first thing I do is check the temperature. If we're not, I'll periodically check that temperature. And what I noticed, because knowing I was getting into this uh, when we first started talking, I started doing that with just the standard AC, uh, how it was installed. And if I had to give it a percentage, I would say the cool down from... 89 degree humid camper to that unit shutting off satisfied, probably a 35 to 40% difference. It really does because you have so much more volume coming through. You're, 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 it's not that you're moving more air, but you are moving air more efficiently. And because of that, it's sucking the warm air from the bedroom and, and it's distributing, pushing air out places where the static pressure system, and if you don't know what I mean by static pressure system, how most of these are wired, there is just a box. And the fan blows just into that box. And the nature of that fan pushing air into this flat bottom box where it's just hitting a wall, it's like, imagine if you had a, a big pitcher with holes in the side. As you pour water in it, the water fills up and just starts dribbling out of the holes. That's how most of these ACs operate. With this block, it creates a ducting system where the air blows into a chamber that then scoops around and separates and directly forces that air into the ductwork that, trans that transverses the, the camper. The effect of that is basically you went from blowing into a, a box and as because you're putting air in, some air has to push out and go somewhere else. You're now blowing directly into the vent, which is just pushing a lot more of that air. You're not losing that momentum and that volume to just dead space where it's just swirling around the box. So it majorly increased airflow, definitely running the AC more efficiently. Cool down time from, from just coming in here hot and humid to that thing shutting off, probably a 40% increase. Now, when I first got this, um, they were basically like one or two types of systems. That I think the Coleman and the, um, why is the name escaping me right now? Uh, Dometic, uh, I think were the two systems that they were making blocks for. And there's a reference that you would go through and see if your camper is on there or if your AC is on. Now, they've really expanded as I've reached out to my guy over there and talked to them. You know, they now have just about anything on the market 
you can get what I call a block the unit for. Um, I mean, the, the ones they had covered probably 80% of the market. Now they have ones that will that'll go into the units in the Class A's, uh, units like the Penguin and things like that. They've really expanded now and, and really were called to, to come to market. Many companies, like Grand Design, now have that sticker when you look at the door and it's like equipped with this, equipped with that. They are putting them in as OEM equipment because they recognize how incredible these units are. So on their, their units that maybe cost a little more, maybe have a little more luxury outfits, you'll see the, they're equipped with RV, air, RV airflow out the door. So year and a half in, what do I really think? It was well worth the money then. I do believe it's well worth the money now. If you are a person that even though you're a camper, you like to come in and have the RV dry and cool, well worth the investment. Super easy to install. If you do your due diligence and do some housekeeping up in there, and um, I, I really can't say enough good about it. Uh, I'm not being a fanboy. They're not paying me to say anything. You know, it, it, it is what it is. I enjoy it. I like it. I'm Big Dan Bates. I'm going to tell you what I think, whether you like it or not. People who know me know that. Uh, you're not going to influence my thought processes or my opinions. I think it's great. I think it is an amazing concept, and it is extremely well executed and i don't praise too many things like that so if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself i'll i'll have a link in the description and as you've seen on the bottom of the screen here because i'm affiliate i also have a discount code now my code is 15 percent off that's better than most codes you're going to find on the internet most people give 10. so if you use my code bates photo 15 you will save 15 percent off your order um i believe that stacks if you order two three four blocks it's it's 15 percent. it's not off of just one item so um, definitely give the boys over there a call. And uh, before I, I kind of wrap this up, I was trying to keep this short and sweet. I do want to talk about housekeeping. Because you are more efficiently moving air, it's not that you're moving air at a greater volume, per se, you are slightly, but you are more efficiently moving your air. You're also going to be filtering air more efficiently. So one of the things you really want to keep up on, and I, like I said, I'm in here opening up the camper for the year, is really keeping up on your AC filters. So I take them down, I rinse these off. They do make reusable ones of these guys. Now this, I just changed this towards the end of last year, and you can see the dust and dirt, because campgrounds are dusty and dirty. Um, now I use personally, just for the sake of ease, and my wife who has chemical sensitivities and has a ton of issues with that type of stuff, um, she doesn't want me knocking these around and sending dust everywhere or hosing them off and bringing them back in. Maybe they're a little stinky or wet. Uh, so I use these RV Air. No affiliation with RV Airflow, but RV Air air filters. They're on Amazon. They're not terribly expensive. There are Merv 6, which is better than most of those washable screens you have. And they really do a good job with, fil with filtering the air. And they're really easy to change. So you get it the pack, you take it out. Pop it in, put your, your grill back up, your housekeeping is done. I do this when I'm opening the camper, and then I'll usually do it depending how much camping we're doing or how much traveling over the road we're doing. I'll usually do it like August, September maybe again, because we'll camp through November typically. Um, but yeah, I'll put a link also down bottom. Uh, it won't cost you a dime more. I get a couple cents for every one of these they sell uh, through Amazon as an Amazon affiliate. Um, but I'll put a link to these too. These are life-changing. And again, they make these for all different brands and sizes and shapes of, of air conditioners, um, even little portable guys. So RV Air, no affiliate with RV Airflow, but RV Air. I'll link them down below too. So that's as simple as I can wrap it up. Well worth the investment. Uh, at the time when I got these, um, they, were, they were reasonably priced, I think, for what they are. I honestly, I should have been better prepared. I should have went and looked or called my man Art up and asked him, hey, what are they running out now? You know, what are they selling for now? I did not do that, but it's a simple go to rvairflow.com or I'll put the link below. And um, see for yourself, you know, with inflation and shortages and everything else that's going on in the world, they may be up a little bit from two years ago when I got one, uh, but still worth the investment, whatever it is. And um, yeah, give it a try. And if you, if you have one or you want one or you have any questions or any comments, Feel free to comment. We really don't get a lot of interaction with comments. I tend to get more e direct emails and things. 
um, because I tend to be very technical with my videos and a little dry and drawn out. Um, but I know my stuff. I try not to make a video without learning everything I can about something. Uh, but feel free to comment. We love ours. We hate ours. I put mine in the campfire last week. Knock yourself out. Comment below. Please like um, if you enjoy our content. We have, we've been doing a lot of gardening this year because I've had some health issues, if you don't know. And uh, so I don't think we're doing a whole lot of camping this year. So our travel vlogs are probably going to cool off for a while. We're going to be doing some gardening and backyard chicken type videos. We are doing some traveling. Uh, I'm not going to spoil any surprises of where we're going, but we're doing a couple of small things this year. Uh, but mostly, I think we're going to be very garden focused this year. Uh, but this will be used. Our camper will be used right here on my on my side pad uh, for nieces and nephews sleeping over and movie nights and things like that. We will be going locally down to the shore here and there. Uh, but this AC will be in use. So uh, I make sure I'm putting these in now and I'll be sure to restock before we ever leave this pavement. So, all right, guys. Well, the guys out there with the wee and the blower, hopefully my microphone is eliminating most of that. But if not, I apologize. It never fails whenever I'm filming. But um, all my best to you guys out there. Thank you for the well wishes for those of you who wish me well. Um, thank you for sticking by us as we've transgressed from photography to travel to food to you name it. We're covering it. But, you know, this is life. Life's always evolving. And, uh, you know, my faith teaches me that all, all suffering has, has purpose. And right now, um, the only thing I can tell is my purpose is to kind of stay home here and, and, you know, keep the home fires going as opposed to travel in the world. So we'll be getting out there doing some stuff. So stay tuned for that. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying some of this garden content. We will have a full garden tour now that things are sprouting and coming alive uh, coming up here real soon. All right. Thanks, God. Thanks, guys. God bless you. And uh, we'll catch you next time.